guys, it's Vlogmas day four. Yeah, that's my iced coffee, that's my go-to. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun and I wanted to work on some kind of B-roll techniques, so. Yeah, that's how I make my iced coffee. I'm a little obsessed with the Starbucks Concentrate. I like the dark, dark roast the best. It kind of has like a chocolate note to it. But anyways, that, some coconut milk, you know, just a little monk fruit. And sometimes I'll even throw in like one of those skinny syrups. I know they're full of chemicals, but once in a blue moon. All right. So today I wanted to kind of review my 2020 and just kind of reflect on it. And I'd love to know in the comments, you know, what your reflection is of your 2020 and just kind of work through this all together. But before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, 2020 was not a year I was expecting. I started 2020, I just, you know, gone through Christmas and had a week long cruise with some friends in December. But uh, it started with a work trip to the Florida Keys. I know the struggle. And then I went to Paris at the end of February. And that's kind of when things started getting a little crazy. Um, Paris was still, you know, amazing. <laughs> I was supposed to go back in April with Olivia, but uh, alas, here we are. You know, Paris was wonderful. It was the first trip that my husband and I actually went on with just the two of us ever, maybe outside of like a one night hotel stay while I was on the way to work or he was working out of town. So that was, um, <laughs> that was an experience because we always usually have Olivia or we go on group vacations or, you know, friends come with us. So. Um, it, it was really nice to experience that. Then came March. Everything shut down. So my job the last almost three years had been as a regional director of sales for a hotel sales support service company. Um, I would have anywhere from eight to 13 hotels at a time, different brands, and in essence, what I would do is I was their regional director of sales. So I would act just like a normal person that would be on site as a sales manager would act except from a remote capacity. So I'd, you know, look for new business for them. I would handle all their inquiries. So if you had a wedding and you were calling to get block rates, that was me. That's what I do. March rolled along. And with everything shutting down, uh, a bunch of hotels were canceling service with this company. And <laughs> I had about 12, 11, 12 hotels at the time, but you know, week before I got laid off, they announced that they were gonna do layoffs. And you know, they rolled out some initiatives for some you know, extra prospecting so that we could show the partners that hadn't canceled yet that you know, there was a still a great value that you have all these people. The company at the time, I think, had about 150 people. You know, all these great skilled salespeople working around the clock. I mean, I think I slept like four hours a night just looking for leads for travel nurses, for government emergency services, um, all over the place, not just for my hotels. Like we were just like all hands on deck. Well, I got the call that, you know, it was nothing to do with my workability or anything. They just had to make difficult decisions. And I found out later that day that it was myself and about 54 other people that were laid off and lost their livelihoods. Um, I would never want to be in that situation as a boss. I don't envy that situation that my former employer was in. But yeah, I learned a lot at that job and it was definitely one of the things that's propelled me to where I am right now to be able to start my own business and, you know, I've been blessed to have enough business to help other people get back on their feet and start growing a team, which is, which is wonderful. I'm just, <laughs> I am so thrilled to be where I am, but I, I can't begin to tell you the amount of work that that took. 
It was a lot of sleepless nights. You know, it wasn't necessarily being upset about being laid off. I'd kind of wanted to go in my own direction, you know, working on some photography stuff and forge my own path. Um, it was more so just, you know, it's the uncertainty and trying to build myself in this industry that I've worked in for 13 years that was crumbling in front of me. You know, I worked in the industry in 2008 which was very rough. My friends and I always joke that if we made it through 2008, we could make it through anything else. And 2020 rolled around and man, <laughs> what a loop. I have learned so much more about the industry than I ever thought I could. You know, each job I've just, I've learned more and more. That's why I never regret positions, even if it wasn't with a great company or, you know, I didn't like the hierarchy or somebody there like, Every experience is always wonderful like because you learn something, you take something away from it. So I will never regret any of my past employment opportunities. I just made that decision that I will never, if I can avoid it, put my fate in somebody else's hands again. I need to be responsible for myself and I want to build something where I can give other people reassurance and have their back. So that's what 2020 has been for me. It's been building my company. I've done so many education pieces like working with Lost Creator Academy on um, perfecting some of my editing and photography skills. I'm still working on it, but you know, the amount that I've learned since March is mind blowing. Like I took an extra Photoshop class because I use Photoshop and I use Lightroom, but it's kind of self-taught things. So I actually sat through on Skillshare, which I love. I've been a huge advocate of. I'll include a link down there too. You know, just learning things. I took so much time to learn things. And now, you know, part of my daily routine, which you'll see during this Vlogmas, <laughs> is, you know, typically most mornings I get up, I take Olivia to school, I do my skincare, shower, whatever but I take about a half hour and I do an Italian lesson because I want to get better in Italian. And then I budget an hour a day for something educational. And it's usually watching, you know, a video on how to work on my photography, my videography, a software system, or a hotel industry related training. Education is the biggest way that I've made it <laughs> through this year. I mean, I'm somebody that's used to I was going somewhere at least once or twice a month in the air driving somewhere, whether it was for work, whether it was for side hustle, whether it was for blogging or leisure, I was just going somewhere. So being home now for almost 10 months straight, aside from, you know, my little weekend getaway, that's been very challenging for me. I'm definitely an extrovert. And I know that sounds like a very first world problem that I haven't been able to go on vacations. And of course I did my excursion and partnership in August in Cosmo, but it's not normal for me. I think people spend their money, generally speaking, the way they want to. And I don't have a ton of designer bags. You know, my <laughs> Louis Vuitton weekender bag is something I won in a work contest. Uh, you know, I have some small pieces, like I'll spend a little bit more on makeup and skincare because you don't go through it that often. But you know, where I like to spend my money is traveling places. I find deals, I have hotel rates, and I just go. That is what I have striven, is striven a word? <laughs> that is what I've been striving to do just all my life. I, you know, I was that housekeeper. I was that front desk agent. I worked two jobs, one of them being 40 hours on an overnight shift to get through my two-year degree. <sighs> worked on my four-year degree. I had a baby. Like I've just, I've always pushed myself and I've been that person that could, could not really live paycheck to paycheck. So failing has never been an option for me and I'd like to say that I'm handling well, but I think there's times when all of us just 
struggle, it's hard. And I mean, we're looking at possibly another lockdown. There's more restrictions going up, cases are surging. And that's hard. And I want you to know that if you want to chit chat, please send me a message. Please drop me a comment. You know, if I'm on Instagram, send me a DM. I may not have all the time in the world, but I'll try to listen a little bit or find somebody that you're comfortable with listening. It is okay to admit you need help, that you need to talk to somebody that maybe you even need to get on something. Just what I'm working on, and I hope all of you are if you're in the same boat, is just stay the course, do what you need to get the help you need. So that's today's. I didn't mean to drag it down a little bit, but I wanted to throw that out there for all of you. So stay tuned tomorrow. I will be back with day five. <laughs> I'm already losing count and it's just the beginning of this. But thank you guys so much again. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. And if you need some travel inspiration, check out my other travel and cruise videos on here. Bye.